that to me, say a miracle mindset. That God is going to reveal what you thought you had lost. Lift your hands. I decree miracles are coming. Miracles are coming. And then last Sunday, Pastor 2.0, he preached the word entitled, A Kingdom Mindset. Repeat that after me. Say, A Kingdom Mindset. To renew your mind so you can think kingdom and stop thinking so worldly. You, you can't be kingdom thinking worldly because you're not of the world. You're not in it. Glory to God. You're in the kingdom of God. Someone shout and say, I'm in the kingdom. Jesus. So I'm, I'm going to stay with this and I'm going to preach from this subject today. The overcomer's mindset. Repeat it after me. Said, say the overcomer's mindset. And then my subtitle today is, they not like us. Somebody open your mouth and say, they not like us. Because we are in the kingdom. Come on. Come on, open your mouth again and say, they not like us. Because we are in the kingdom. Reach over and grab somebody and say, they are not like us. Because we are in the kingdom. Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh God, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. You can be seated in his presence. I'm going to ask if you would to su suspend all distractions. I'm going to even ask the parents to not let your kids be on Facebook while the word is going forth. Because your children need to hear this. Are oh, you hearing what I'm saying? Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Your word is a lamp <laughs> and a light unto my path. So I'm going to ask if you'd be so kind to uh, um, help me govern your children and govern yourselves. Because sometimes you can even get distracted and just zone out. <laughs> Glory to God. Next slide, please. <coughs> Not like us is a diss track written and recorded by Kendrick Lamar. It was released <coughs> excuse me, this year on May the 4th with a hidden message <coughs> feuding and disputing with the rapper Drake. Uh, it begins with Kendrick's um, whispering, and then he said, I see dead people. I see dead people. And while using these metaphors and, and these illusions, <clears throat> Lamar attacks and targeted Drake's alleged inappropriate sexual behavior with minors. Uh, Kendrick uses Drake's album, Certified Lover Boy, um, to label him as a certified pedophile. Mm. Uh, Lamar also takes several opportunities to challenge Drake's cultural identity during the chorus of Not Like Us, stating that rap practitioners like Drake are unlike his caliber, accusing Drake, are y'all still here? Accusing Drake of exploiting black artists from Atlanta for street credibility and financial gain. It's publicly known that Kendrick and Drake have been engaged 
in a rap feud since August 2013. But tension escalated this year in March 2024. Drake responded to Kendrick's verse with the single push-ups, and Lamar fired back uh, at Drake with the song Euphoria. Mm. And hours later, at about 6.16 p.m., and I did my investigation in, in Los Angeles, California, Drake responded and released the single Family Matters in which he accused Lamar of abusing his romantic partner and alleged that one of his two children was fathered by his creative partner. Less than an hour later, mm -hmm, Lamar responded with Meet the Grams, which described Drake as an alleged sexual predator who runs a sex trafficking ring known as the Embassy while fathering a secret daughter. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, mm-hmm. And so it was reported, not like us, removed the copyright claims for a limited time, allowing the public to freely use the song for commercial purposes. Someone said, not like us. Kendrick Lamar, without calling his name, said, I see dead people because Drake is not like us. Next slide, please. Thank you. That Drake is not like us. They've been feuding since 2013. Since 2013, feuding. Jesus, feuding. And he said, I see dead people. Yeah, you know, I, I see dead people too. Mm -hmm. I see tear living among the wheat, and they are not like us. <laughs> I said, I see tares living amongst the wheat, and they are not like us. Maybe that's why Matthew chapter 13, verse 24, Jesus tells this particular parable. He said, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while they slept, are uh, y'all still here? His enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and then went his way. Yeah, people would throw a rock and hide their hand. Yeah. And then verse 26, and when the blade sprung up and brought forth fruit, then the tares showed up. So the servants, watch this, Acts, did not you sow good seed in your field? From where did the tares come from? I need you to ask your neighbors and neighbors say, where them tares come from? Uh, come on, come on. Action neighbors and neighbors said, where them tears come from? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where them tears come? Verse 28. And then he said unto him, an enemy has done this. I came to tell you the enemy has done this. The, I said the enemy has done this to deflate your spirituality, to deflate your relationship with God. It's the enemy that has done this. I need you to tell your neighbor again, say the enemy has done this. Yeah. And the servant said to him, should we gather them up? Verse 29, and he said, no, because while you are gathering up the tares, you could root up also the wheat with them. So Jesus said, let the wheat and the tare grow together until the, until the harvest. And I would say to the reapers, gather first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. Please don't miss this. The mindset of tares are the choke out the wheat. I said the mindset of a tear is to choke out the wheat. 
And this is for about 20 people that will shout. Look at your neighbor and say, don't get choked. Don't get choked. Come on. Tell your neighbor and say, don't get choked. Don't get. That ain't nothing but a tear. Come on. Look at your neighbor and say, don't get choked. Don't get choked. Don't get choked. Perhaps this is why Romans chapter 8, verse 2. Verse 37 says, put that on the screen for me, please. Nay, Romans chapter 8, verse 27, 37 rather. But nay, in all things. Not some things. But nay, and somebody shot all things. But nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. I need you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, say, you're more than conquerors. Come on. Come on. Encourage your neighbor. And so this mindset focuses on victory and triumph over life challenges despite trials and tribulations. Come in hell or high waters, you are more than a conqueror. I came to encourage somebody that's sitting up in here. Come hell or high waters, you are more than uh, your challenges in your life. I need you to open your mouth and repeat this after me. Say, come hell or high waters, I'm more than challenges in my life. Now open your mouth and say, I'm more, I'm more, I'm more. Has anybody ever had faith? a challenge in your life and you try to figure out how in the world am I going to get out of this. I came to decree and to declare in this house that you are more than your challenge. I need you to open your mouth and say I'm more than my challenge. I'm more than my challenge. I'm more than my challenge. And so the Bible says I'm running on to my closure. The, um, that's quick, ain't it? The Bible that's kind of quick, ain't it? The Bible says, glory to God, that Joshua or Joshua. Now, when I was in the Baptist church, they said Joshua. So however you want to say it, Joshua or Joshua, Caleb and the spies. They returned from searching of the land after 40 days. After someone shout 40 days. Joshua and Caleb and the spies, they brought back word to the congregation. Watch this. And showed them the fruit of the land. Now, from my understanding, the Bible said the fruit, the grace was bigger than they had ever seen. The pomegranates was as big as they ever seen. They had never seen fruit like this. I came to declare, to declare in somebody's life, you ain't never, in, in about the next six months, you ain't going to never see fruit like you ain't never seen before. I decree you ain't never seen fruit like this. And I speak, oh, somebody getting this, I speak it over your life, you ain't never seen fruit like this. They said the land is flowing with milk and honey. Glory to God. And this is the fruit. However, the people are strong that dwell in the land. The cities are wild. They are tall and, and very great. And we saw the children of Anak, the giant. Glory to God. Watch this. Not only did we see giants, we saw the Amalekites. We saw the Hittites. We saw the Jebusites. We saw the Amorites. And we saw the Canaanites. That's a lot of knights. Glory to God. That's a lot of nice. They saw the Amalekites and they saw giants in that land. And for some reason or another, other than just looking at the fruit, they saw giants. See, sometime in your life, you see the negative before you see the positive. And I came to tell about 10 pieces up in here. You got to start thinking positive if you want a conquering mindset. Reach over and touch your neighbor and say, you got to think positive. And not negative. But the men that went up with Caleb said, we are not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than us. For they are stronger than us. Please hear me. 
they didn't have a miracle mindset. They had a defeated mindset because they said the people are stronger. <laughs> I came to denounce if God be for me, who can be against me? Jesus. They said the people are stronger <laughs> than us. And there are people in this house sitting in those great chairs. You're sitting here with a defeated mindset. But I came to decree that you, you have convinced yourself that you can't overcome it. You can't defeat it. Your situation has convinced you that you can't overcome it. Uh, your fear has convinced you that you can't overcome fear. But I came to prophesy that you are not defeated. You can overcome it. Somebody open your mouth and say, I'm not defeated. It, say I can overcome it come on open your mouth and say it again say I am not defeated that I can overcome it say it one more time say it like you got some anointing in your mouth say I am not defeated that I can overcome it the Bible said the men that went up with Caleb they said we are not able because they are stronger than us. Because their mindset was evil. They brought up an evil report of the land. Watch this. Watch what they said. They said the land eateth up the inhabitants. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. Yeah, and we were in our own sight, in our own mind, we saw ourselves as grasshoppers. Negative, there was a, uh, they say, in other words, they had a negative self-perception about themselves. And please get this because they didn't have an overcomer's mindset, so they had the wrong perception, and they, they felt inadequate, and they had an inferiority complex, and they felt insignificant. But I need you to look at your neighbor and say, they, they might seem stronger than me, but they ain't bigger than God. Your situation might be stronger than you, but your situation ain't bigger than God. Your circumstance might be stronger than you, but your circumstance ain't bigger than God. I need you to shake your neighbor this time and say, it ain't bigger than God. I said, shake your neighbor and say, it ain't bigger than God. I want to preach to people that has the that has the wrong perception and mindset i want to preach today to people that's feeling inadequate and insignificant i want to preach to people today that has an inferiority complex i want to preach to people today that has a lack of faith trusting God for more and this is for about 10 people that will shout that your mindset just changed I said your mindset just changed I see a conqueror inside of you I need you to open your mouth and say I see a conqueror inside of me come on lay your hands on yourself say there's a conqueror inside of me I am not defeated. I don't feel inadequate. I am not insignificant. There's a conqueror inside of me. If you ain't scared of the devil, jump to your feet and say, there's a conqueror inside of me. Come on, reach you over and look at somebody and say, there's a conqueror inside of me. You can be seated. You can be seated. There's a conqueror inside of you. Did you hear what I just said to you? There's a conqueror 
inside of you that you can conquer anything. There's a conqueror inside of you, Jesus. The men that went up with Caleb, they said, they are stronger than us. They said, what we saw made us feel inadequate. What we saw made us feel as if they were stronger than us. And if I was standing next to Caleb, I would have said they might be stronger, but they're not like us. <laughs> if I was, if I would have been standing right next to Caleb, I say, Caleb, I agree. They might be stronger. They might be stronger, but they're not like us. Look at neighbors and neighbors and they might be stronger, but they ain't like us. Jesus, they ain't like us. And I'm amazed how people can have the same experience, but don't see the same thing. That's why in one gospel, Jesus fed 4,000. In another gospel, Jesus fed 5,000. Amen. In one gospel, four. In another, five. They all had the same experience, experience, but they saw something different. The spies saw they were not strong enough. But Joshua and Caleb saw something different. Tell your name and say, you got to see something different. I don't care what everybody else is seeing. You got to see something different. <laughs> Look at that again and say, you got to see something different. <laughs> see, some people, please see me. Look this way. Some people see lemons, but other people see lemonade. Did you hear what I just said? Some people see lemons, but other people see lemonade. See, some people see trees, but other people see fruit. Ask your neighbor, say, what you seeing? Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I see lemonade, and I see fruit. <laughs> Tell them again, say, I see lemonade, and I see fruit. Tell them, say, that's what I see. Give me my money. <laughs> Give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. So y'all didn't say nothing that time, huh? Give me my blessing. Give me my blessing. Give me my blessing. Wicked, 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 give me my blessing. Wicked, wicked, uh, give me my blessing. Wicked, 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 mm -mm, give me my blessing. Mm -mm, wicked, 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 mm -mm, get... Some people see lemons. I see lemonade. Some people see trees, but I see fruit. How, how can we have the same experience and you see something negative? I want to ask you a question. Why are you still in that relationship and you see positive and they see negative? Mm. 
Mm. Why are you still in that relationship and you giving 80% and they giving 20%? Give me my money. Some people see the glass half empty. But there are some people see the glass half full. Ask your neighbor and say, what do you see? Some people see your past while other people see your future. Ask your neighbor and say, what do you see? Some people see your failures while other people see your success. Ask your neighbor and say, what do you see? Some people see you living while other people see your life. Ask your neighbor and say, what do you see? Some people see your challenges while other people see your progress. Ask your neighbor and say, what do you see? Some people see you happy while other people see your joy because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Ask your neighbor and say, what do you see? See, some people see you, but other people see the anointing on you. Ask your neighbor and say, neighbor, what do you see? Come on, your neighbor and say, neighbor, say, what do you see? The Bible says that Caleb, he said, whoa, hold up, stop. He calmed the people and he says to them, I know what they saw and I saw giants too. I saw them. I saw giants, but they're not like us. In other words, Caleb was saying, I saw discouragers, but they ain't like us. Caleb said, I saw vision blockers, but they ain't like us. Caleb said, I saw confidence crushers, but they ain't like us. Caleb said, I saw energy drainers, but they ain't like us. Caleb said, I saw gold blockers. But they ain't like us. I need to look at your neighbor again and say, they ain't like us. They want to be us, but they ain't like us. They want to look like us, but they ain't like us. Joshua and Caleb saw giants too. Here it is. But Joshua and Caleb had an overcomer's mindset. They had to overcome us. Thank you for that clap. Uh, they had an overcomer's mindset. And what they saw did not hinder their faith in God. Thank you for that clap. Caleb said, let us go up mm -hmm, and possess it. For we are well able to overcome it. Jesus. Look at your neighbor again and say, you're well able to overcome it. Caleb, he interrupted the status quo. Watch this. He looked past their current conditions of things. And Caleb said, let's go up and take the land now because we can We can do it. We can do it. Let me prophesy to every conqueror in this house. You can do it. Let me talk to this side over here. You can do it. 
Let me talk to this side over here. You can do it. Let me talk to the praise team. You can do it. Let me talk to the musicians. You can do it. Won't you put your fingers up? Yeah, back there in the back. You can do it. Uh, look at somebody on your road say, you can do it. Come here, Nike. Nike said, just do it. So look at your neighbor and ground them and say, just do it. I don't care what they say, just do it. I don't care what the enemy said, just do it. I don't care what's going on in your ministry, in your business, just do it. I don't care what's going on in, in your life, just do it. I need you to look at somebody and buck your eyes and say, just do it. Just do it. Caleb looked at Moses. Caleb looked at the people and said, we're well able. He said, they are not like us. Let me tell you why they are not like you. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Let me tell you why they're not like us. The Bible says, so be strong and of good courage and God will strengthen your heart. Let me tell you why they're not like you. Because the Bible said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Let me tell you, tell you why they are not like us. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but God gave us love, a sound, and a sound mind. I need your open mouth and say, they are not like us. They are not like us. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. Because they are not like us. I know I've been having you look at people all day. Would you turn and look at them one more time and say, they are not like us. They, they are not like us. Let me tell you why they are not like us. Because the steps of a good man is ordered by God. They, they are not like us because we overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimony. That's why they are not like us. Because we have an overcomer's mindset. They are not like us because we have an overcomer's mentality. They are not like us because we have an overcomer's conviction. They are not like us because, because we have an overcomer's belief that I can conquer anything. I can conquer anything anything. I can, come on, lift your hands, lift your hands, lift, lift your hands and say, I can conquer anything. I can conquer anything. I can conquer anything. I can conquer anything. Anything. I can conquer anything. I have an overcomer's attitude. I have an overcomer's thought process. I have an overcomer's perspective and perception. And I have an overcomer's stance. Stand. Therefore, I have an overcomer's position. I have an overcomer's mindset. Because they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Come on. They shall walk and not be weary. And they shall run and not faint. Will you just kind of touch your neighbor if you're close to somebody and just tell your neighbor, say, they're not like us. They, they're not like us. Watch this. They are not like us because when we worship, Breakthroughs are coming. Did you hear what I just said? When you worship, breakthroughs are coming. You'll get this in a minute. 
when you worship, breakthroughs are coming. You still didn't get it. When you worship in spirit and in truth, breakthroughs are coming. Uh, I decree in this house, breakthroughs are here. I said breakthroughs are here. They are not like us because when we praise, blessings come down. I said when you praise, when praises go up, blessings come down. They are not like us because when we praise, they are not like us because when we lift our hands, I touch his glory. They are not like us because at the because when we pray, things change. I said, when you pray, things change. I said, when you pray, things change. They are not like us.